All minis come with an auxiliary input that allows you to play an external music player through your mini's audio system. But if your mini has the optional iPod adapter, it will allow you to use your mini's audio controls, the same ones for radio and CD control, to control iPod playback. How cool is that? Now to take advantage of this feature, first, locate the provided iPod cable, hook one end into your iPod and the other into the USB port and auxiliary input jack. Both of these are located behind the shifter. When the car is turned on, your iPod screen will say that it's connected. You can then select the iPod for playback by going into your audio source menu and selecting iPod. Once you choose this option, it may take a few minutes for your mini to sync with your music. When it does, your display will now be active and the buttons below the screen can be pressed to access each function. And there's a few choices for music browsing. The first is playlist, there's gen, to list your music by genre, art, to list by artist, ALB, alb, to list by album, and track, to list by track. You can choose any of these by pressing the button below each name and then use the knob to scroll through your music to select what song you want to play. When you want to make a selection, just push the knob. And at any time, you can use the button under the back arrow to go back to the main iPod menu. In addition, you'll see two more options on the main menu, RND and LEV. Pressing RND for random will play a random shuffle of songs, while choosing LEV for level will bring up a new menu allowing you to adjust the iPod's input level with the knob. And with this newfound knowledge, you can now easily use your iPod adapter to choose that perfect motoring tune and hit the open road.